Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony Laredo Duke, and we have a great topic for today's show in which it is marriage is equal partnership and being or feeling appreciated. So let's get right into this. Um, I don't know how many of you uh, out there remember uh, about this discussion from uh, last week's show in which we were discussing about being supportive of those that you love. And during uh, this discussion, I, I gave an example of like a, how many uh, of people years ago, way in the past, like way back in the day, the husband used to tell the wife, what you do is not work. You stay home and you, you're a housewife. What you do is not work. I'm the only one that works. And working is going out to a job. No. Okay. Seriously. Um, marriage is equal partnership. Whether you go out to work or, or if you're a housewife. Right, because housework is a is a whole lot of work as well. Okay, and there are some housewives that, um, even during you know with with uh, uh, doing housework, they also have some. Many of them also have like um, uh, a part uh, a job, you know, when they're setting up like an office in their house and they're working from home even as well in order to try to make more money as well so you know marriage is equal partnership and it's about feeling and feeling and being appreciated and um so it, it's not about taking score okay you know it's it's um it's it's not about be, being old school minded in in which you're saying, oh my job is the only uh, uh, real work or, or what I do is work and what you do is not work. You don't treat people like that, you know. Because imagine, imagine if. If you, if those that acted this negatively toward their partner, imagine if anybody else treated them like that. I don't think they'd, they'd feel uh, happy about that. I don't, uh, they'd probably be feeling lower than the snake's belly. They'll probably feel horrible. So if you don't want to be treated like that, then you have no right to treat anybody else like that. Because imagine this, if you will. Let's just say, um, if you were out of work, if you lost your job, right? Now you're, you're now you're at home. Or let's say, if you fell ill, or if you had a major operation, you can't go back to work. You know, and now you're at home. So basically, now the shoe is on the other foot. Would you appreciate anybody? Telling you what you do is not work. You would feel horrible, horrible. And why? Because anybody, anybody in that situation would feel horrible. You know, and um, it, it's just it's about treating each other right. You know, and being of being and feeling appreciated as well. So it's not about, like I said, it's not about keeping scores. It's just about both parties are doing their part. Okay, it's equal partnership. Where the ones out working at a specific job out in the out in society. And the other is at home being a housewife and maybe even having a, a business of their own while they're being that housewife. 
you know, like I gave that example before, if they're a housewife, you know, taking care of the house and the kids or whatever, and still have like maybe a, a business set up in their home for where they can make extra money as well. You know, this is about equal partnership and, and feeling appreciated and, and being appreciated. And uh, again, it's not about keeping score of who does what and, to, and, and when and how and, and whatever else. So um, that old nonsense way of thinking is out the window. Seriously, could no, because nobody would would uh, appreciate being put down. Or whatever. So, um, really, honestly, then, and unfortunately, there are relationships in which, uh, one one half does uh, at times put down the other, and that's not right. It's not right at all. And um, it's just treating each other with dignity and with, with respect and with appreciation and not to put each other down, seriously. And um, so they wouldn't, they, nobody would feel appreciated or, you know, or appreciate being put down. So, but anyways, um, like I said, it's about respecting one another and being supportive of one another. This is a part of that too, you know, and especially if you really love and care about that person. So, and anyways, I wanted to remind all my fans out there about the website that my husband and I have together called AWLDNY. And the link to there is AWLDNY.com. You guys can check out all the uh, all of our products that are on there. And all the products that you see on there, we actually make ourselves. And um, I also wanted to remind all my fans out there about my, my, my other website that I have called Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is AIHNY.com. And you guys could check out all the pages on there as well. And just in case, if I don't know, I don't remember if I said this as well. The link to the website that my husband and I have together, the AWLDNY, the link to there is AWLDNY.com. I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but just in case if I didn't, I wanted to make sure I did. But anyways, getting back to my other website that I have called African Information Highway. Again, the link to there is AIHNY.com. You guys can check out all the pages on there. And on the home page of the website, you'll see the link to my internet store on Zazzle.com, in which I designed a lot of products and they're up for sale on there. And so you guys can check that out. And also on the home page of uh, my website of African Information Highway, you'll see the links to the two books that I wrote in which you guys could check out uh, both of my books as well. And you guys could purchase both of my books as well. So you'll see the links on, uh, on there on how to do that. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.